Sorry, it's been so long since my last video. I've been super, super busy over the Christmas holidays. Um, so, today I'm going to be showing you more products from Bum Diggy. I want to thank you so much to Jamie who sent me these wonderful products to review on. I'm super excited. Some are Christmas, some are from her main line. So if you guys are interested, I'll post her link down below in the description box. So, let's get started. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I'm still debating on if I should make some what I got for Christmas videos, but we'll see. Let me know if you guys want to see that. So, I'm going to start off with this piece of soap. This one is called Tiny Bubbles Soap. It says sparkling champagne and zesty lime mixed with moisturizing shea butter will have you feeling fresh, clean, and festive in a thick lather of bubbles that aren't so tiny. This one smells so fresh. It's a really fresh, bubbly scent. It's, it really does kind of smell like champagne, but more fresh to me. Um, this is what it looks like. A nice kind of light cream color and it has some glittery pieces at the top so I'm really excited to use this this is a really big size piece next we have this beautiful orange and yellow bubble bar this one's called Kenny Woods open bubble bar Mountains of creamy, frothy citrus bubbles and mists uplifting bright orange silky bath water. Mm, this one smells so, so good. I really love how it looks too. Really heavy. Like, you guys can cut these in half and get two, like, awesome baths out of these. Next, this beautiful glittery bubble bar. It's called Rosy Cheeks Bubble Bar. Mounds of fluffy bubbles and swirling pink floral waters will leave your skin kissed with the rosy glow. Mmm. Ooh. It has a really nice light rose scent. It smells really, really relaxing. And um, it has the list of ingredients in the inside if you want to go ahead and read those. But, yeah. These are made with really, like, good stuff, so. Um, this one didn't come with the tag, but she said it was the We Three Kings bubble bar, I think. It looks like this. I really like how this smells. Mmm, like, I don't know, but it's this really, it smells familiar to me. It's a really light, oh my gosh, it's like a light cotton, but like a hint of baby powder. It's really hard to explain, but it smells so familiar from like when I was young. So that's that one. Next, we have this Cheers Whipped Body Butter. This would be awesome for New Year's. Um, it says, quench your skin with creamy, vitamin-rich butters and the sparkling scent of champagne. And I already tried it. I really like it. It smells really nice, like a really sweet, champagne-y scent. And there's so much glitter in here. Um, I don't know if you can see what it did to my hand. I don't know. It's a really light shimmer. So, yeah, I really like this. It's really hydrating and moisturizing, but it doesn't leave your hands feeling, like, nasty, greasy, or anything like that. So I really like that, and I love the packaging. Next, we have the Snow Angel Shimmering Massage Bar. Let our soothing Snow Angel sprinkle some of her sparkling fairy dust upon you while moisturizing that dry winter skin. This is the cutest massage bar I've ever seen. It's an angel and she's so pretty. I can't wait to use this one. There's glitter in it too. 
This one's kind of a, a little bit more like a spicy scent. I wonder what that... It smells really good though. Like, I don't, like, this girl makes all this wonderful products, and she's, she has a daughter, so she's busy taking care of her, but I don't see, like, where you can find time to make such awesome bath products that are, like, really relaxing and really pretty, so, yeah, she's awesome. So, I highly suggest checking out her website, and yeah, I still have a bunch to show you, so I just thought I'd ramble a little bit before I get started over here. This one that you see right here is Sweet Dreams Bath Melt. Chamomile and lavender oil soften your skin and sing you a lullaby. This one smells nice and light. This one smells similar to something I just smelled. This and this probably would go good together. Yeah, they're both really nice, soft scents, but I cannot wait to try this one. There's a similar one at Lush, but it's not nearly as big as this one. Next, we have the Rudolph soap, and it says, I'm cute. Here's the Rudolph soap. There is the nose, obviously. I'm just kind of telling you guys how it smells to the bag, so... Maybe I'm not really giving my best description, but I will be doing separate reviews on each product. I'm going to have to open this one because I am smelling that lotion on my hands. Mmm, wow, that smells familiar. why but here's what it smells like to me cranberries cinnamon I don't know why but I want to say it smells like a holly leaf <laughs> I don't know it smells just like Christmas I love it oh my gosh I give really strange descriptions sometimes, I'm sorry. Alright, I still have some stuff here to, to talk about. This one is called the Snow, the Snow Fight Bath Bomb. It looks like a big ball of snow. This one says, all tuckered out from playing in the snow, take a soak in the sparkly, shimmery, silvery, blue, and white waters of this twinkling bath bomb after you've won your snowball fight. Doobie, don't bark, please. I'm videotaping. Sorry. Ooh. This one, like, straight up smells like fresh laundry. Like the downy ball. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. Nice and clean, but really, really strong if you like that kind of scent. This one is the Goodnight Moon Bubble Bar, which I have to say is one of the cutest bubble bars I have seen. Look at those little cute stars in there. And it's way bigger than the one at Lush. Um, let Goodnight Moon tell you a bedtime story with the assuaging sense of lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood to help you get a peaceful night's sleep. I think she sent me this one before to do a demo on. But I think I used it up so fast that I can't remember. It looks familiar, but this one looks more of a pretty blue. I'll have to look back in my video and see. Oh, I love this scent. It's so chamomile and lavender-y. Next, it's a super, super adorable bath bomb. It looks like this. Oh. It's a bubble bar. I hope I just didn't say bath bomb. He's so cute. This one is called Happy Elf Bubble Bar. Come on, get happy. Just look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Like I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I have the guts to squish him. 
He's just going to sit there staring at you all day. This would be something to set at your work desk and have it smell good around you before you use it. So creative. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Okay, this one is called Geisha. I hope I said that right. Exfoliating Massage Bar. Set your skin aglow with exfoliating aduki beans and freshly ground almonds. Can't really smell that one, but it looks like this. If you guys are interested, it's just a round kind of massage bar where you rub it on your skin like that and it feels good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try these massage bars. Especially in the winter, those really help your dry skin because there's like lots of cocoa butter and stuff in there. Next we have the Slumber Party Bath Bomb, which I showed you guys before. I really like this one, but I think she sent me another one because the other one when I did my demo sank and it's not supposed to. So I'll be trying that one again with you guys. And the Dr. Feelgood Bath Bomb, spicy cinnamon and cooling peppermint to help stretch those achy muscles. And I've heard so much from this about her, er, I've heard so much from her about this one that if you're sick, it's really good. It really helps you. Woo! <coughs> Not that it smells bad. Wow. Like, I can see when you're sick that that would really help your nasal passages. It's really spicy. It's really, really spicy. And like, it feels cool in your nose when you breathe it in. It's really interesting. Yeah, eucalyptus oil, rosemary oil, lavender oil, arrowroot powder, peppermint oil. Yeah, that's really awesome. So that one is that dark green bath bomb. If you guys are interested in finding that one, I suggest stocking up on these in the winter when you get sick a lot. So you never know. Call in sick from work and take a nice bath. Yep, and last but not least, this is such a cute bath bomb. It's called the Pink Flamingo Bath Bomb. And it looks like that, and it's so cute. He's just looking at you guys. This one says, here's refreshing tropical daiquiri for your towel. Ooh, so excited for this one. I cannot smell that one because of all the other scents. But I'm going to open this one up so I can give you the true meaning. Mmm. This smells super, super sweet. And like fruity ish. Ooh, I like it. So, yeah. Like, everything looks so wonderful and beautiful, and for people who love taking baths like I do, just to take that time out of your day um, to have to yourself to relax and unwind, like, making things this cute really help with helping you relax and, like, just lay back in your tub and just worry about nothing and, like, enjoy the scent and everything. Just, I am like blown away how like cute this stuff is and if you're a Lush fan you definitely definitely should give this a try um, because yeah I like this stuff just as much as Lush maybe even more for certain products so yeah I hope you guys have, are still with me um, I know this is kind of a long video thank you guys so so much for watching please subscribe and comment down below on which item you want to see review on first. So yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, have a wonderful night, wherever you are. Please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.